Hey guys, Vince from Auto Industria and we're here at the Honda factory in Santa Rosa, Laguna. They've actually granted us access to their latest model. Yeah, it's the 10th generation Honda Accord. And we're gonna take it around here at their test track to see what you can expect from the new Accord as well as other models from Honda in the near future. Let's check it out. The front end design of the Honda Accord is really different from a lot of the Accords we've seen before. They've taken a few more liberties with the way uh, the grille is cut and shaped, uh, but they do have the LED headlights up there in front, which is, which is kind of a familiar thing with the Honda Accord already. One unusual thing is that the grille, uh, the, the chrome bar connecting the headlight, both headlights, is a bit more prominent now than it was before. If anything, it looks more like a unibrow, but hey, it works on this model. Honda really tried to create something more executive when it came to the Accord. As you can tell by the crease lines, you know, they kind of remind you of a, of a well-pressed suit, uh, especially with this character line that runs from the front all the way to the back. One thing you will notice is that the wheels are rather, well, striking. One thing that Honda was highlighting unusually with the 10th generation Accord is this chrome strip that runs from the front all the way to the back. Uh, on top of the windows. They call it the laser brazer or laser brazing, whichever the case may be. It's strange, yeah, but hey, it's interesting. <laughs> so finally, we're aboard the 2020 or late 2019, however you prefer to, you know, call this model, um, Honda Accord Turbo CVT Honda Sensing. Yes, uh, they made it clear that that is the actual name of this car. They wanted to make sure that, of course, the Honda Sensing is in the name of the vehicle because they're really highlighting that technology. But before we get to that, this is a 10th generation Honda Accord. Uh, for Honda fans, you know that the Accord is one of uh, the, I guess, proudest nameplates in their model lineup. Uh, as you can tell, the, in the interior is a lot more premium than before. It's not, uh, they actually went a bit more subdued with a lot of the accents. You know, they didn't go for the, the very bright wood paneling. They went with something more more satin. Of course, it's not, it's not, it's not actually wood. It's, it's a lot of, um, well, just really accent panels. But... It does look really nice. I mean, it's, it's a nice satin, nice satin feel to it. The, the metal accents, they're kind of the, the brushed steel, brushed aluminum variety. They look really nice. Um, the fit and finish is actually superb. I particularly like the floating nature of um, this audio system. It's an eight inch unit and uh, it has, uh, I mean, it has buttons here, so, you know, they don't, they didn't go for the too much of the you know the, the touch panels, um, touch sensitive buttons that Honda did before, which we found to be a bit strange, especially if you you know accidentally touch it. Uh, but with this with this version, what we really really like is the graphic, you know the the nature of the graphics on this system. It almost looks like um, like a smartphone, you know, control panel or main screen, which is good because you can see the the lines are very defined. Uh, the the audio I mean the you know the everything it just looks a lot better when you play around with it it responds pretty quickly so uh, if you if you like your your audio system to feel more like a smartphone you will like uh, the one on the Accord uh, the steering wheel okay again it's it's very very sporty this is not the Accords of old where they put you know wood here and that kind of thing this is a very sporty you know steering wheel it looks like they could put it in a sports car and it would look pretty well um, matched for that model um, and then the gauges you only have a speedometer on the right which is you know uh, an actual analog gauge but the left the left side is actually a screen and they use it to display a lot of the functions that, you know, that the Accord has sometimes it can be configured to be a tachometer but right now the way it is we have uh, all the safety functions highlighted here on the screen 
Uh, for driving ergos, I mean, it just feels natural. You're sitting here, of course, you got your nice wheel. You've got um, the shifter for the CVT. You've got controls here uh, for Econ. So if you want a bit more fuel economy, it's, th this will tame down a lot of the things with, with the Accord. You can turn on Sport, which kind of sharpens up the response of, of the, the gear of the transmission. And it also make, you know, makes the gauges a bit red, which is kind of nice. Uh, you have your brake hold, which is useful if you're in traffic, you know, if you're in stop and go traffic. And then you have the park and all that. But overall, the impression is that this is a very driver-centric car. But there's one feature we'd like to highlight, and that's Honda Sensing. And we'll get to that in a little bit. The switches are very, very nice. I mean, it's, it's definitely a level up uh, in terms of overall feel, in terms of, you know, fit and finish, and, and ma the materials they use. Like soft touch here, soft touch there, you know. It's nicely executed for Honda, so uh, there's, no, there's no way for the driver to, you know, adjust this seat to provide more legroom there. Um, there's no controls in the back for audio or whatnot, but if they are things, uh, if, if the person right in the back, like you know, your boss uh, or your dad or your wife or you know, is right in the back uh, and then they're hooked up to the Bluetooth, uh, they can do that, but um, it's really more of just a nice, a, re a really nice seat with a lot of rear leg room uh, and a pair of sunshades. Uh, so, powering the Honda Accord uh, is a 1.5 liter turbocharged VTEC engine. If the engine sounds familiar, it's because it's the same unit as the one found in the Honda Civic RS. Yeah, the one that uh, we all like to drive because it's, you know, it's pretty fast. Uh, in this model though, it's tuned a little bit differently in a good way. Because you may think that you know, the same engine uh, as the Civic RS would be a bit hampered in a bigger, heavier vehicle like the Accord. But they tuned up the power to 190. That's, uh, I think that's 16 more than the Civic RS, which has around 174. Um, it also has 260 Newton meters of torque, which is more than the Civic RS. And both of those figures are actually better than the performance and torque of, I think, the 2.4 RS, uh, well, sorry, 2.4 V of the Honda Accord, which is, you know, the current model. So let's see how those numbers do, right? So we put it into sport. There you go. Oh, let's see what the acceleration is like. Honda, Honda's test track in, the, in their factory is a little bit small, but we'll see how far as we can go. Well, I don't think we can do 100 here, but that's not bad. That's pretty sprightly because the torque comes in much earlier. It comes in at around 1600 RPM. And from 1600 RPM all the way to 5000, it holds that maximum torque which is great for initial acceleration and, of course, fuel economy. That's a key thing for a model like this. And in terms of fuel economy, that's going to be the leg up it has when it comes, you know, when you compare it to the current model Accord with the 2.4 liter engine or even the previous one with the 3.5 liter engine. So Honda has granted us a bit of access to their test track, to their mini test track inside their factory in Santa Rosa, Laguna. Um, it's a bit too small for this car because uh, compared to the older Accord, um, this one is actually both longer and wider. So, you know, doing this, there's this little uh, figure eight here that pretty much is, you know, great if you're driving something like a city, which they do, you know, assemble here. Um, but if you're driving something like an Accord, you'll end up doing a bit more of these three-point turns. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting, but... Definitely, we'd rather take the Accord out, you know, for, for open roads. But given that, you know, it's actually not launched yet, uh, this we're, we're coming to you from uh, about two weeks before its actual launch date. Uh, we, can't, we can't take the car out onto public roads because they don't want, you know, the public to see the car yet. And that's okay. So we're, we're driving on tarmac right now, and it's actually all right. I mean, hopefully the tarmac they have here at the Honda factory is a bit, you know, representative of the kind we get outside. But um, the ride, the noise, it's actually not bad. Uh, one thing you do, I, I do have to note though, is that when, when you try to, you know, step on the throttle pretty hard and, you know, the, the CVT tries to catch up, there is going to be, be a bit of that noise coming from the front because the, the CVTs, as you know, they have a, 
they have a very uh, unique sound, you know. So it's it's going to be unusual uh, for those used to um, to a six-speed automatic or a five-speed automatic as before. So see there, when 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 the CVT tries to catch up, there's a bit of a sound as well as you know the RPMs of the engine trying to match it as well. So that's going to be the unusual thing for this model because this is going to be the first time that Honda's ever offered for one a turbo accord and a CVT accord, unless I'm completely mistaken in that area. Now one thing really interesting about uh, being at Honda's test track at their factory is that they have a verification course, meaning it's what you use to test um, fit and finish, ride comfort, and that kind of thing. So let's try it. First you have these little ruts. Feels nicely suppressed. So right now we're on, we're on a, I guess, stone wash or pebble wash kind of road, but with big stones. The Accord feels great. It's it's riding over it like a champ. Yeah, that's the good thing about being you know being inside a factory and having access to their test scores. You can try out these things to see how a vehicle performs right away. On you know I mean because that that road particularly it's probably rougher than a lot of our uh, concrete. So this not bad. Great job on the fit and finish of this vehicle. So now we've got Honda Sensing activated and that vehicle is, we've asked that vehicle to brake somewhere in the middle. I'm actually not touching the accelerator or the brake. We'll see if it works. We're both going about 30 kilometers per hour now. See, my, foot's are off, my foot is off the brake. Right, let's see if it'll stop or slow down. It is. <laughs> it is stopping and yeah, it's come to a complete stop. See? So oh, it's braking hard. Okay. It's coming to a full stop. That's not me. Okay. Uh, I'm actually eager to see what, you know, the, the lane follow assist of this works, but I know. But that's that's the car stopping on its own. That's a cord stopping on its own. So even if you don't have a driver, <laughs> it's going to feel like you do have a driver because it'll take over those duties. It can take over those duties for you. There's not enough space to do for here to do a full test, you know, fuel economy, that kind of thing. But we can already tell you that this is a leg up over its predecessor. It's not as flashy, you know, in the interior because the previous model really had a lot more, you know, shiny surfaces, you know, that kind of uh, old school luxury. This one is more modern. This one is more, uh, more subdued, more, more of the way we like it. So it'll be interesting to see how the Accord compares against a lot of the other models uh, in its class like the Camry but make no mistake that class is shrinking and it's all because preferences have already changed but can the Accord uh, hold its own? We think so. So that about concludes our time with the 2020 Honda Accord. It's a very interesting vehicle coming with a lot of very significant features that will not only be seen in this model, but hopefully in future Honda models as well. Uh, we like the 1.5 liter turbo, the Honda Sensing, the overall fit and finish. The design, well, that's really up to you, but we think it's a more upscale look for uh, the Accord lineup compared to the model in the back. Uh, now, when it comes to pricing, that's when it gets a little bit trickier because this comes in at 2.288 million. That's 350,000 pesos more than that model. That's quite a big uh, chunk of change. Uh, whether it's worth it, it's really up to you. But for now, we can say that we're impressed with how this Honda drives and we can't wait to take it out more uh, later on when they finally launch it in the market or actually when you'll be seeing this on your screens. This is Vince of Auto Industria. Thanks for watching. And if you like what we're doing here, this uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter.